adrift on the exquisite. One leaf drifts past our window, one leaf of red and gold. Say goodbye to me and I to the autumn time, a normal day. We weren't really doing anything that anyone could see, except standing here, leaning on the balcony railing, holding the universe together. And this is true for each of us. Our world is our very own, and we are in charge of it. The universe is large and has begun to change course. A different future is coming, and likely not better. Two ravens sit high upon a wire. They seem as if they understand and rule all that they see. Our highest peaks are to the east and are but pimples on the earth. These could fly there. We could climb there. A conquest of nothing. So was the sad leaf in its flight, releasing its presence among billions. Worlds sing to the souls of humanity in the language we all knew before our birth. Not all souls are listening. The Ancient of Days does not shout, but enters silently with love, thus to whom only have access to their souls. The last leaf has flown and day arrives, igniting a rainbow of the other persuasions of earth, which are alive, birds, flowers, ideas and prayers scattered about. We are not focused to such dignity, but only can address the Ancient One in spurts of our spirit, which a wind is wayward. It is the pulse and impulse within us, flying away our dreams, beseeching thankfulness which rises out of our poverty. For if our dreams serene were dash, dashing everywhere, it would consume our soul in the conquest of nothing. The soul is adrift on the exquisite. It is the last leaf of our life. We must say adieu to all which is not of you. The final flurry of our life is but one leaf, which clung to life while its own spirit tugged and tugged it from the branch, for its destiny was in another place. Now there are no autumn leaves, and never again will come to be upon the tree that birthed them. There is no soul in them such as ours, adrift in the exquisite, nor has any lived the exquisite anything but a human being made by you. In wonder we go searching for our destiny. Nothing in nature shows the way to it, for none has a spirit seeking to find your ultimacy and to worship you. Trees clap, oceans roar, but do not speak, do not love. Our spirit is called to it and comes to us all compassion, all joy, all wonder, all presence. Then find we do not come to our destiny, but you come to us. Came a child born, given unto us, and called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Father Everlasting, Prince of Peace. Indeed, all of the wonder and peace we were not aware was ours, he alone is worthy of our worship. How shall we prepare on earth to everlastingly praise Jesus Christ as God? You are our, suprem our supremacy. And we, generally failing miserably, continue to belong to, believe in, and worship Jesus. Thereupon God himself is happy, for this was his destiny that the Son be worshipped and glorified, the Son of Man among his people. Amen.